Hey guys, welcome to the channel and thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment down below. Take one second of your life to help the channel, my friend. If you want to continue to see me in this channel, all you have to do is to click that like button to help with YouTube algorithm. Thank you so much. You guys are absolutely legend. Let's start by the first topic of this video, which is Dujon Richard the Whisper. Remember him? My own brother from Jamaica. We bought him, but he was 17 years old back then. And now he's 18 and he's eligible to come to England and play for Chelsea Football Club. I don't think work visa is going to be a problem because, you know, Jamaica and England and all the good stuff. I think he's going to get his work permit without any problem. So, according to the secret scout, he's very good uh, scouting, very good with youth. And he said that he's flying right now to England. That is going to be a good news for for him, but also for Chelsea. But I don't really think that he's going to be uh, playing immediately with uh, the first team. But according to, to this guy, uh, he's, uh, he's, he's eligible, he's allowed, he's ready to play even right away. So uh, something been happening behind closed doors. Do you think that he's the solution for Chelsea lack of goals? Because I believe that if he played against Tottenham Hotspurs, 9 against 11, I think this brother was going to score like 5 goals instead of Jackson. How many open goals <laughs> Jackson missed again? Well, I'm not getting on Jackson here. Jackson is my brother too. He's my boy. I always support him. But you have to tell the truth that that brother... That brother needs to improve. And if Jackson plays with a proper number nine in front, I think he is going to score a lot of goals instead of putting all the responsibilities to Jackson, who is very, very bad with his head. How can Chelsea have a team of one billion and don't have somebody who can be good with his head? It's just beyond me. We don't have a goal scorer. Deadly left-footed. And uh, I think he's going to cook. But are we going to give him an opportunity to cook? That is another question. Because Chelsea don't give an opportunity to youngsters. He's 18. Same age as Ivan Ferguson. Ivan Ferguson is 18 years old. David Washington, 18 years old. But Ferguson is playing week in and week out. And David Washington is warming the bench or playing few games with the academy here and there. So, who is going to develop best? It's going to be Ferguson in, in one year from now. You're going to call him Beast. Pay whatever it takes to get Ferguson at Chelsea Football Club. But you forgot that he's that good because he was given a chance to play week in, week out, make mistakes and learn from those mistakes. And Chelsea always are looking for perfect players while they have abundance of talent in the academy. So welcome to the best uh, club in London, Mr. Richard. And hopefully he can uh, play some games, okay? Give him a few minutes here and there and let him play with the academy. And let's see what's going to happen in January. I think in January we're going to move him out probably to the championship so he can play with men. He's ready, you know? Was it better to be a fast player or a slow player? Next up, we have this brother here from Corinthians, 
Gabriel Muscado. Chelsea submitted a new bid of more than 25 million. And remember last summer, they wanted 21 million. Chelsea wanted to pay less than that. They were offering 16 million plus bonuses and all that. And Corinthians said no. And this time, because Barcelona, Real Madrid, other teams are scouting on this brother, all of a sudden Chelsea are, okay, okay, we're going to pay even more. <laughs> so it's like 4 million more on top of what they were asking last summer. Chelsea never learned. It's just like uh, the Moises Caicedo situation. Give me 100 million, you got him right now. Oh, no, no, no. Let's wait until the last second. And what happened? Some other teams got into the conversation and we ended up by overpaying 115 million plus bonuses, plus sell on fees, plus, plus, plus. But we were in control. So it looks like uh, this kid is going to be the same as Caicedo. Do me a favor, please. Get out of here. My problem is it's good to buy all this wonder kid around the world. But how many wonder kid Chelsea got right now in the academy or on loan? We don't give them a chance in the first team. Look how we ruined Andrew Santos' career. Somebody who was playing every single week, week in, week out in Brazil, comes to Chelsea. We loaned him to the worst team you can imagine, Nottingham Forest. He's warming the bench over there. Okay? Angelo Gabriel. Look at him. He's doing good. That is an exception because Patrick Vieira always gives players on loan a chance look what he did with conor gallagher when he, he used to manage crystal palace so that is an exception diego morera the list goes on and we have people like uh, hunchison you know omari hunchison look at him tino andrean look at him you know harvey vell I can go on and on. Lewis Hall. We have a lot of bowlers from different positions, but still, we don't give them a chance. And we are just spending crazy amount of money and ruining their careers. If I was his agent, I was not going to sign for Chelsea, no matter how much the money is, my friend. And look at this. We have... Kasade, we have Ugo Chuku, we have Lavia. Did we really need it to spend 60 more million on Lavia when you have Ugo Chuku and you have Galaga who is in another level right now and we have Andrew Santos and you have Kasade? My friend, it's okay to make theories and feel good, but at the end of the day, you have just to think outside the box. After the transfer window, what's going to happen? Because it's, it's always pay the money, pay the money, pay the money. It makes us feel good. It gives me an opportunity to make a video like this. Because we are buying somebody. The business is booming. It's all good. But after that, what? The only transfer that can excite me right now is going to be a proper number nine. A mature number nine. Not another kid that we're not going to give a chance. Somebody who is proven that can score me goals at the moment. That is the only transfer that can excite me. We can buy the entire world now. You're not going to see me getting too excited and selling you how good that player is going to be and blah, blah, blah. Let me know what you think about uh, Mr. Muscado. If you think Chelsea really needs to spend more than $25 million and... What are we going to do with him? Because we have so many players in his position. Don't talk to me about Strasbourg. Strasbourg is not Chelsea. A known club that we're going to buy in Portugal or Italy. They are not Chelsea, okay? Talk to me about Chelsea. Somebody who will make an impact 
right now at Chelsea. That is my first priority. 